f of x equals x plus 1 if x is less than 4, x minus 4 squared plus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 4. Find the limit of f of x as x approaches 4. Okay, so this one looks different because this is a piecewise function and as you know, piecewise functions behave differently in different domains. So this is where we will be very, very careful when we find the limit because the behavior of the function needs to be considered, okay? It's not like it's not like a quadratic or you know a polynomial function or a linear function where the behavior of the function is kind of the same, right? It's predictable. But for piecewise functions, they are kind of unpredictable. So we need to consider a lot of things and we have to be very, very careful. Well, just like with normal functions, we will find the left limit. Okay, so you have here your x and this will be your um, your f of x here, okay? We are looking at the left limit, okay? Meaning values to the left of 4. Meaning values that are less than 4. And so if that's the case... Where are the values that are less than 4? The values that are less than 4 is here in this domain. And in this uh, piecewise function, in this domain, we're going to use x plus 1. Okay? So again, we are finding the left limit. Okay? That means we're looking at the numbers that are less than 4. Okay? Where do we find the numbers that are less than 4? We find that in this domain. Okay? And so therefore, we're going to use this to evaluate the left limit. Okay? So, let's do that. Okay. Let's um, put some values for x. Values that are less than 4. Okay? 3.99999 Again, it's up to you what numbers you will use as long as they will approach 4 from the left. Okay, then we will evaluate the function at these values. Remember, again, these values are less than 4 because we're looking at the left of 4. And all of these values belong to this domain. Okay? And so if we when we evaluate, when we evaluate, we are going to use this right here, not this. We're gonna use this, okay? So 3.7 plus 1, that's gonna give us 4.7. This is going to be 4.85, 4.995, and then here this is 4.99999. So as x approaches 4 from the left, f of x approaches approaches 5, okay? And so the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left equals 5, okay? We are going to take note of that. Now, let's look at the right limit. Okay, now this is a limit from the right. Okay, that means we're looking at values that are bigger than 4. Where do values bigger than 4 belong? They belong here in this domain. Okay, and so we're going to use this. So when we evaluate whatever the values that we have here, we are going to use this function right here because the values of x that we will get will belong 
in that domain okay so let's put some values again look at the values the values are greater than four okay and that belongs here in this domain so we are going to use this earlier we used this because our values belong here now we're using this because our values belong in that domain so let's evaluate so plug in 4.3 here so 4.3 minus 4 is 0 0.3 0 0.3 squared plus 3 that gives us 3.09 so that's 3.09 right there then for this one we'll get 3.01 here we will get 3.000001 and here we will get 3.000000001 okay so when x approaches 4 from the right okay f of x approaches 3 therefore the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right equals 3 observe the limits are not the same they're different and what does that mean that means that the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 does not exist and we write that as d n e it does not exist whenever the left limit and the right limit are not the same we say that the limit of the function does not exist now the question is uh will this happen to every piecewise function it depends on where you are looking at if you look at if you um if you find the limit where your function was cut off okay remember our function f of x was cut off at 4 then uh, most probably but this will not happen every time but most probably the limit will not exist because that's where the graph was cut off but sometimes they actually reconnect and the limit will exist so it really depends on the situation but yeah this is where mostly you will get an answer of d and e so you will have to be very careful when dealing with piecewise functions that's it